and people need a lot of help right now. Those are the words from a local eight-year-old doing what he can to help the family of a Toledo police officer killed in the line of duty. Officer Brandon Stalker died after being shot and killed working the perimeter of a standoff Monday night. Since then, we've seen dozens of examples of community kindness in his memory. Tonight, Emma Henderson introduces us to Max, a young boy with a big heart who's on a mission in Officer Stalker's name. This is 24-year-old Brandon Stalker, killed Monday in the line of duty. This is eight-year-old Max Tickmeyer, wise beyond his years. And these are the 300 packets of hot cocoa Max and his family will be serving up this weekend to raise money in honor of the fallen officer. When I came up with the idea, I just heard that he died and that I thought I would just want to do it for him. This isn't the first time Max has come up with such a generous idea. Back in July, he did the same thing with a lemonade stand for Officer Anthony Dia, who was shot and killed on the 4th of July. His family is among those who plan to stop by this weekend. And the people that have reached out to help and say that they're going to come has been hundreds of people. And how quickly it can spread in the community that we live in, it really truly does show how amazing it is. Last time, Max raised nearly $2,000. He's already seen hundreds of dollars in donations well before he pours his first cup of cocoa. We have no law enforcement in our family. However, we do appreciate and support them, and we will back them always. And we just want to show them and say thank you for everything that they do for our community. Max wants to be a police officer someday and is inspired by members of TPD he has met since the lemonade stand, even getting a tour of the safety building and sitting at Chief Carl's desk. It was, it's really, there's a lot of trouble out right now and people need a lot of help right now. Right now, his number one mission is making sure that Officer Stalker's family feels loved. In West Toledo, Emma Henderson for WTOL 11. Great job there, Max. If you'd like to support Officer Stalker's family and pick up a cup of hot chocolate, Max's stand opens at 1030 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. It's at his home on Oak Grove Place right between Douglas and Tremainsville.